Okay, here we are with the main gold, episode 10. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say, let's get to the episode. I'm worried. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus. Oh, will they hit on her? Nope, okay. God damn. <laughs> to become the best. <laughs> blush, blush. <clears throat> That's a lot of papers, Jesus fucking Christ. Did he skim through before he does anything? He sleeps. I guess he's here because of Alto, right? Will he start talking to Alto, maybe? <sighs> I'm having a bad feeling about this whole thing. And these intros seem so long if you have nothing to talk about. <laughs> Since I have to watch them because I'm using the timer, and if I would skip that would completely ruin the timer, um, <clears throat> I use the intros often to talk about stuff, obviously. So I try to use the time, but right now I have like nothing to talk about. <laughs> Since so far nothing really happened. And then these intros seem so long, they never end. How does he know? <clears throat> I think he doesn't care. I mean, he's a platinum, so it's easy for him. Stop talking, Alto. <laughs> that sounds bad. Someone died. Okay, that's why. <clears throat> mm. 
Oh, now it's suspicious. Someone that doesn't have a uniform. Oh, might be suspicious. <laughs> oh, he has. Is this. Does he have different familiars? Before he has like a horse thingy. Now he has a stone golem. I think he dies. Yeah. Not dead yet. Oh, the next one. <clears throat> oh, he's actually stronger. Okay. That does nothing. <laughs> Oh, he knows him. He knows that he's a platinum. Every mage? Yeah, I guess Alto might not like that. That the Platinum Square is an asshole like this. I I missed that a bit. Oh no. Okay, I thought he maybe would take Lilia as hostage or some shit. Okay, at least something. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Can we just look inside? Man, they are so good at keeping them outside. <laughs> and now they go to. Oh, he sealed the room so that no one can get inside.
Oder so. Well, let me guess, no one can censor. Yeah, those crystal icicle thingies don't do shit. So how are they gonna gonna get out of this? Either someone stronger is coming or he just retreats, I guess. And it's like, yeah, I've seen enough for now. Bye bye. I had my fun for today. <clears throat> Or somehow Alto and Vimei get some super overpowered thing and they can push him back enough. What will it be? <laughs> okay, I guess it was a skip. <laughs> I mean, she's not at full power, I guess. Ooh. Is he rattling with his golden juice chains? <laughs> Don't make me juicy, <laughs> or you will regret it. Mm. Or maybe he has demon mana too, if that's demon man mana. Okay, he gets overpowered. <laughs> okay. Well, that was going on going on going on <laughs> silver mana gold mana silver mana will he have platinum mana Was it Alto? Shooting lasers? Pew pew! Hey, he goes Super Saiyan. Like, literally. The hair goes up. Aura. Only his hair color has to change. Spiky. Ah, oh, there's this one. Is, I guess this is his familiar, maybe? My knights? There's only one knight, I would say. I mean, he can't do anything with her if Alto dies. Oh, cliche. We had enough of that so far. Of course. But how are they gonna do that? If they kill Alto, the May dies.
Yeah, I think that's not working. <coughs> yeah, some ceiling shit again. What are you gonna do? Kill him? Then the maid dies too, idiot. They would they would ruin his whole plan or not? Because then they don't have all the demons anymore they need. What is this? Tom fuckery. Is that the book where the May was inside? <clears throat> Choose a path, justice or destruction. I want destruction! <laughs> I am the mage of beginnings. Okay. And the dude is just standing there? He's chilling. Come to my booba. I give you power. Yeah, that's definitely not it. <clears throat> Can she unleash her true potential? Hell yeah! The strongest scorch, okay.
She only used 1% of her power so far. <laughs> now she can get 100%. Now he wants to do something. Too slow. So will we get backstory? The May backstory? <clears throat> I guess this, this all happens maybe in like an instant. Yeah. When they come out, it's like they just blinked away for a second. So the student council president can't know her. Only if she was alive 550 years ago. That's what May. <clears throat> was she a human at first and became a demon? God damn it! <sighs> Let me know what you think. But yeah, that was the episode. And here we go again. With dumb shit that I don't like to see in this anime. Basically like episode 5 where dumb, stupid shit is happening. And it looks like that Vimei is in trouble. Transforming into a demon again basically. And getting chained and then getting knocked out or whatever. Because she's not dead, otherwise Alto would be dead. But they're getting like knocked out or whatever. <sighs> you hate to see it in this anime, I would say. At least I hate it. I don't like to see it. <clears throat> and yeah, I mean... I mean, at least the ending is not a cliffhanger that ends in shit. So at least we have a glimpse of hope, right? With the backstory of the May. So it's not as bad as episode 5, right? But I still don't enjoy it. I mean, like I said, last end of last episode, I already say, I already said, that sucks. <laughs> I already said, I have a bad feeling. And yeah, it came true, basically. Um, but yeah, I mean, we had the beginning of the episode. And which is super interesting because... Yeah. <clears throat> It was so stupid. It it took someone to come in and it's like, stop the test. There's a dead boy in the bathroom. So that the instructor realizes, oh shit, this one dude looks suspicious. When the suspicious looking dude talked to Alton, and he was like, hey, don't talk you two. He didn't realize it when he came in. He didn't realize it. He never realized it. It took someone to be like, hey, there's a dead boy on the, on the bathroom for him to instantly be like, that dude looks suspicious. Yep, that must be him. So dumb. So stupid. This whole thing was completely dumb <clears throat> because we didn't really got anything out of it, right? <clears throat> All we got out of it is, okay, the test is a huge stack of paper and the asshole was sleeping half the time and then the asshole does the test in like one second. And that's basically all we got out of this whole thing. To get the stupid thing that the instructor didn't notice that this dude looks suspicious as fuck. Just so that they could be like, 
oh, this dude is like the best mage ever. He's better than anyone else and did all the tests perfectly so that we can get the flashback of like, oh, he did the test perfectly. That must be him. That's all we got out of it. Just so that we can get this one flashback of like, oh, he did the test perfectly. That it was mentioned earlier. And now we know that that's the dude. Wow, man. That was so needed. They could have just done it instantly like he goes in and it's like oh boy you look suspicious then the shit goes down skips the whole test part that was completely pointless and be like oh i know this dude he is super strong he is the best mage and by the way he also did all the past tests perfectly and then we can still get the flashback <laughs> they could have done it differently and i didn't like how they did it here because it was just so stupid um but yeah, it is what it is. And then, yeah, obviously, Alto gets fucked up, Verme gets fucked up, the instructor gets fucked up, and the other instructor gets fucked up. And so everyone got fucked up, and the whole place is sealed off so that no one can get inside, so that no one can stop the fucking Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. So, yeah, and like he said, yeah, cliche. We want to destroy the world. <laughs> we are so full of ideas nowadays um yeah it's obviously cliche stupid i mean what is the point right i mean i get it if people are like if villains are like we want to create a new world so we want to destroy this world to create a new world to make a better world i get that point but what is the point of destroying the world if you want to destroy the world because you are not happy because maybe someone spit in your soup you can just destroy yourself right Go out with a bang and let everyone else be happy, basically. You don't have to destroy the whole world just because you have, I don't know, a stick up your ass. Um, so, yeah, I don't get that point. <clears throat> and so, yeah, obviously the strongest mage is the one that wants to destroy the world for some dumb reason. And like I said, it's, it's another dumb thing that basically he needs the power of the demons. And so it seems like that Verme is a very important part about it because she is, from what they said multiple times now, the strongest demon, right? The strongest scourge of the earth or whatever. And so <clears throat> seems very important that she's alive, right? But if Alto dies, she's dead too. So you have to keep Alto alive. I mean, you maybe could just take Verme away, right? leave Alto behind, take her away. But I mean, Alto could techni technically just suicide himself and then Verme is still dead, right? But I mean, obviously, Alto would never kill himself because he knows that Verme would die then and he wouldn't want that. So obviously, he would try to save Verme some other way. So obviously, it w w will never happen. But just like logically speaking here right now, since... Alto and Verme are inter intertwined. It's kind of stupid to be like, yeah, we need her. But that means this boy has to be alive and well. Otherwise, she dies too. And then our whole plan is ruined. Probably, most likely, should be. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of dumb. Yeah. And, I mean, but I guess he doesn't know that, right? So, <clears throat> uh-huh. Um, yeah, interesting enough, now we got some clarification, I guess. Gold mana means demon mana. So every time we saw gold mana means it was from the May. But we saw it on Alto too, so maybe, maybe Alto is like half demon or some shit. Because he had gold mana even before he was intertwined with Verme. Or maybe it was just Verme transferring mana over to him or something like that. <clears throat> and then he got silver mana. Whatever that means. We don't know what that means. Maybe that's like Ultra Instinct mana. Because Ultra Instinct is also like silver-ish, right? I don't know. Um, so yeah, it seems like Alto has gold and silver mana. Seems like a big deal, because he said, hey, they haven't figured you out yet. Hmm, idiots. So yeah, seems like it's an interesting thing, big deal. 
and means that Alto can be probably very powerful, obviously, because he's a main character. So obviously he has some uh, hidden potential that he can unlock at some point to be super powerful to get his goal being like the best mage ever. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> I never really like it if we have if we have encounters like this in anime where it's basically okay. Here we have our main character that is like the be beginning of his adventure and is super bad. Has like no control of all his powers and all that stuff. Is kind of weak, even if he has some good potential. Because in this case, the May, right? Uh, but yeah. And now, since we have our main character here, let's put in the super end boss here right now. That is the strongest in the world. And he somehow comes out alive. And they're like, okay, that's a setback, so that he can grow from that. Basically, it always seems stupid because you're basically facing off against like one of the strongest or the strongest or whatever and somehow you get out alive get some growth out of it and keep going right <clears throat> i mean i get it there needs to be growth there needs to be loss right you need to lose to grow from it but you can do that against weaker opponents that are just stronger than you right you don't need the strongest of the strongest to be your first enemy, basically. Or like your second enemy or whatever. Or in this case, your third enemy. I guess. Uh, maybe fourth. I mean, we had Rex, but he lost. Then we had uh, Chris, but she also lost. Then we had uh, Professor Douchebag, but he also lost. But he killed also. So he somewhat won. Half-half, I would say, draw. And then we have him now, I guess. So, yeah. I still count this like as the first encounter really where they actually fight and it's not some weird stuff going on right or it's like school stuff um but I mean it's kind of is school stuff because it's in the school whatever we are not going there yet um but yeah I mean still it doesn't really change much early in it's early on he is still in school has barely any power I would say his biggest power is basically Vermeer right now and he faces off against like one of the strongest and or the strongest from what they said and comes out alive <laughs> i mean he kind of has so otherwise we may die some but yeah whatever um yeah I, it's it's weird right um i don't like where i don't like these encounters if that stuff happens in anime um this early on i mean Clearly, at some point, you face off against super strong enemies or the strongest enemy, right? But, like, so early on when you're basically a beginner, it's kind of weird. That they always come out alive. Um, yeah. And so, yeah, now at the end, we get some backstory of the May, right? So, that's interesting. And it, we she didn't have any horns or tail or whatever. So, either she was hiding it even as a child, or maybe she wasn't a demon back then and turned into a demon, that would be interesting if you, if humans turn into demons, and that's how demons come to life, right? Um, but yeah, maybe she was just hiding it, so yeah, that would be interesting. I mean, we saw it in the intro, we saw the May in like a burnt down building in flames, so I guess some shit will happen, and that makes the May very sad. Maybe it was the May that maybe lost control somehow and destroyed everything and then she realized what she was doing and cried. I guess we will find out next episode. But yeah. <clears throat> I mean... I didn't really enjoy this episode, obviously, based on what I'm saying here right now, right? I didn't really enjoy this episode because it's basically like... Kinda like episode 5 direction almost not quite as bad but somewhat i just want happy bonding time <laughs> uh, um but yeah we will see how it continues i mean it's not to the point where i'm saying like man i i stopped this anime i don't like it i hate it but i just don't like these specific moments i mean i don't mind if we have like fights like chris or rex or something like that right but if it's like this evil bad stuff like professor douchebag and that shit that's that i don't like when it's like basically oh we want the may and we want to take her away for our evil plans and that shit that's what i don't like 
not losing that they lose or something like that but yeah that's the episode so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say thanks for watching until next time Bye bye